Hello and welcome to my 2022 project pan finale. So if you have been keeping up, I have been doing a project all throughout this year. I, is this hair, is this a hair sticking out or is it a shadow? Okay, there we go. I've been project panning for a few years now, quite a few years now actually. And if you're unfamiliar with this name, it's a series where we kind of track the progress working through makeup. And I say makeup, but it could be skincare, it could be hair care. I've even done like somewhat of project pans with food. Like when I have times when I have a lot of groceries I need to eat through, I'm like, don't buy any more groceries. You need to project pan this food. And then I find myself like trying to make interesting recipes. So the idea is just using what you have and kind of tracking that progress, maybe setting some goals. And throughout 2022, I have done another year-long project, and I'm here today to share the final results. Okay, if you guys caught my December, like the beginning of December update, I was so ambitious. I watched that video back yesterday. I actually went through like all the Project Pam videos from 2022, but that one in particular, I was like, you guys... I'm going to be here at the end of the year and this is all going to be done. It is going to be the best finale I've ever had. And that is a theme. I always do that. I'll watch my videos back and I'm so optimistic for what I can finish in a certain period of time. And it is always such a good reminder that makeup is not used up as fast as we think it is, <laughs> which was one of the biggest lessons I learned when I started panning. But regardless of that, I'm here today with some really good progress to share with you. I have some exciting updates and we're also going to look back on that year long goal, which was using up 22 items. And I've got the list of everything I used up specifically in this project. It's not quite 22, it's not that close, but it's actually a lot larger than I was expecting. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys. And let's talk about these products. So let's start with the not as exciting updates. Save the, the really cool ones for last, but this from Charlotte Tilbury. This has been in the project for a few months now. It is their Hollywood Film Star Bronze and Glow Duo. It's a mini. And I set the goal to maybe hit pan on this shade. I wasn't super set on that. I really just wanted to throw this in the project to get some use out of it. And for that alone, like it was a success. I got a ton of use out of this. I fell back in love with this. I, you know, I feel like I was getting my money's worth from this, which is always the case. And when you see the close-ups, especially when you watch them month after month, you see them kind of compared, the dip is there. Like the progress has happened, but there's no pan and that's okay. And the word progress is possibly what I'm entertaining, focusing on for 2023. In terms of my project next year, I don't, I haven't determined how it's going to go. I did have a video go up earlier this week where I talked about my no buy. Tomorrow's video is going to be about my makeup inventory. So this entire week has been really heavily focused on just my collection, my consumption, and really just like wrapping up my thoughts on the year and thinking ahead to next year. And for my project pan for next year, I'm debating if I want to structure it the way I have for the last few years or if I want to really focus on progress over use. So this year, my goal really was like using it up, finishing things. But I'm almost thinking like next year, maybe I want to set usage goals, like using products I don't normally reach for and then giving myself a number of days I want to use them. Like I want to use this 10 times and I'll check it off. I'm thinking out loud here, you know, where it's just like stream of consciousness of words right now, but I kind of wanted to fill you guys in on where my mind is at. That's what I'm thinking for 2022 as a possibility. Okay, moving along, the blush, <laughs> the powder blush. Hmm. When I mentioned in the video, I was like, I could have this done by the end of the month. You guys were like, no, mm, nice try. And you were right, this is not even close and I've used this a ton. I don't know what I was thinking, but this is my Lorac blush and tinge possibly something that would be rolled over into some sort of project in the new year because I would love to use this up and I still feel like I'm close. I don't think it would be too many months on this, but it's not done yet. I am ready though to rotate this out. I've used it so much. I've been just fully focused for the last few weeks on this blush and the other blush I'm going to show you in a second. So there are other blushes in my collection that I want to kind of play with right now and not solely focus on this. So 
regardless of panning this next year or not, I do just want to, you know, take a break from this for a little bit. I know when I come back to it, I'll still love on it because it's a pretty like nudish pink blush, but not finished. It is not finished. Okay. What is finished is this blush. So, you know, one out of two is not bad. This is the Glossier Cloud Paint in Beam. And I'm so impressed because I started with about half of it and then worked on this throughout the year. This has been in here since January though. So it's taken me all of 2022, but it is used up. I, it's kind of hard to get like the last bits out. You have to like contort it the weirdest way to try to like push it out. It's like when you have a tube of toothpaste and you're almost done and you can't get it. And you're like, I need to like shove this into the spout. That was another blush use up. So I feel pretty good about that one. I was hoping to be able to say both blushes were used up but one is still pretty good. Anytime a blush is completed, I feel like that's an accomplishment. And I don't feel, I, have I panned a liquid blush before? Have I like had one in my project before? I don't, maybe I have. I feel like I'm normally focusing on powder blushes though. So I thought this was a good, um, successful outcome. Also the concealer, this is the Koki Be Bright Concealer, all used up and in January, that initial introduction video, when I was watching it back the other day, I was cracking up because I said, I think this will be used up in one month, maybe two, and it took me the whole year. It was really only a few days ago that I was using it, and I'm like, okay, this, there's really nothing coming off of this doe foot anymore. Like, it's done. But I feel like that's such a good example. Once again, we are not usually running out of makeup the way we think we are. There were so many times prior to project panning that I would feel like, okay, this whatever, the blank makeup product is starting to get light. Let me replace it. Or I would hit pan on something, you know, like this blush. Even just hitting pan on it, I was like, okay, I need to replace it. It's almost gone. It's not. Once you hit pan, once it starts to feel empty, you're still not as close as you think you are. Like you've got months, possibly even a year. And same with this Urban Decay foundation that makes three foundations completed in 2021. The Urban Decay Stay Naked, the Koki HD, and Urban Decay Hydromaniac. And for fun, I did even wanna mention how close I am on this because I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in the last update. I was hoping I'd be able to come on here and tell you this non-official project pan item was also used up, but this is a powder from CoverGirl and look at that pan. I know you guys love to see pans, so there's that. But let's go over the list. So with these newly finished items, that makes a total of 14 items finished in this project. So that, as we know, is not 22, but it's closer than I thought. When I initially sat down and was writing out the numbers, tallying how many I had used up, I was like, thinking to myself, I was like, this was such a fail. I used up like eight. No, it was like basically double that. So let's do a little walk down memory lane. Some of these, you guys, I was so shocked. I was like, I used that up this year. I thought I used that up an eternity ago. But the first one was the Becca Backlight Primer. Absolutely shocked to hear that. I was like, really? That was this year? Also, Urban Decay Stay Naked. Obviously, the, the new ones like Koki, Concealer, the cloud paint, the foundation, but also an Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. It was a mini, but we used that up. A lip liner from Sonia Kashuk, used up somewhat recently. A brow gel from ColourPop, a brow gel from e.l.f. A powder bronzer, the powder bronzer from Milani. Also a primer, the one from The Ordinary, their high adherent silicone primer. A full powder, the Bite Beauty Change Maker Powder, almost this powder, but you know. Uh, the Koki Foundation also, and then everything that we talked about here. So actual project pan items used up this year, the number is 14. However, I have used up more than 22 items total throughout the year. So my goal really, I wanted the 22, I was hopeful the 22 could come from the project. But I mean, in total, I have used up more than 22 makeup products this year. So we somewhat met the goal. I knew it was a pretty ambitious goal right in the beginning of the year. And you guys really echoed that as well. When I shared that introduction video, I had so many comments like, 22 is a lot. Are you sure about that? And 
I don't know if that would be my focus next year. I don't really want to try for like 2023 20, in 2023 just because 22 was already tough. But I really am thinking that my focus next year might be more so on progress than completing items. But I'm also thinking maybe I'll be more focused on just like rotating things in and out. I might do something where I'm rotating these project pan items in and out more frequently. Whereas right now I was really focused on, you know, keep it in until I use it up and or I'm tired of it. Maybe next year I'll maybe do it like seasonally and then rotate them like that. I'm not fully sure how I want to structure it, but that's one thing I really appreciate about project panning is you can just fully customize it to whatever you think you need and how the structure will benefit those needs. So I'm, I'm thinking quite a bit about how I want to do it for 2023. And I was also, I was originally thinking I would do an empties video this week, kind of like an end of the year empties. And you know, you would see these products in it. However, I think I'm actually, I don't normally get scared by horns because you know, you hear them so much. I just kind of don't notice them half the time, but that one absolutely terrified me. But I, I want to save that empties video for some point in probably January and then just do like a big empties, just saving up as much as I can for that video. But stay tuned, tomorrow will be the final long form video of Vlogmas and then I'll have one more short for the last day of the year. But tomorrow we will be going over my makeup inventory and I will tell you by the numbers how my collection is looking right now. We'll walk through how many products I have in every single category. I will share with you how many products I have total and how different that number is from the beginning of the year. So stay tuned for that. That's coming tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern. And I will see you guys then for my next video. Bye.